Two years ago and a few weeks before Christmas, Gemma Evans was happily assistant trainer to her mum, Yvonne, when suddenly and tragically, Yvonne passed away and Gemma's life changed forever. It's all like, very vague, I can't really remember it. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously mum died and, and then I took on the licence, so. And that was over a period of time because obviously the initial shock would have been ridiculous. Uh, you had Ernie, your mum's husband, Ernie Gaskin, who yeah. we all know. Yeah. He he stepped up to the mark and took over the licence initially. Couldn't have done it, with, you know, obviously he was going through exactly the same as well. Um, yeah, he took over first of all while sort of we sorted things out and then he said to me, do you want it or, or, or you know, or what do you want to do? And I said, yeah, you know, I've got to do it for mum. Um, so I took it over. A lot of people in their life will go through terribly traumatic things like that, but not many people will then have to think about 60 odd dogs in a kennel. That must be so hard. Yeah, it was massive, but it kept my mind on the job. Um, she was my best mate, you know, and, and my, like my sister, everything really. Um, so yeah, it was hard, but it was almost like she said, this is the only way you're going to get over it. So there's 60 dogs, look after them, you know? So. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's pretty much it. Did you find the greyhound industry supportive? Yeah, I did, yeah. Um, I had a few phone calls. Um, Peter O'Dowd rang me and offered his support. Um, Romford were really good. Uh, Ian Smythe, Mark, um, they were all really lovely. Um, and I had some really lovely, kind messages from other people too. Because I think your mum was very much loved and the impression I always got, whether it was here at the kennels or at the track, she loved greyhound racing. <laughs> she loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, and she's passed her love on to me. So, uh, you know, being around it most of my life with Ernie and my mum, it, uh, it was the only thing, wasn't it really? It was the only thing that I could do, so. Was it always the plan for you to take over, albeit not exactly when you did? Yeah, yeah, it was, that was the plan moving forward, but it definitely weren't gonna be for at least another year. Um, yeah, a bit of a dumped on me, but yeah, it was that, it's, it's happened and that's that, so. What's happened in the time that you've been training? Have you changed anything here or done anything differently to how your mum did things? Um, just sort of staffing changes, uh, made a few changes there. Um, my team now are amazing. We work together, we have a laugh. They love the dogs, the dogs love them. Um, and I really do think that that makes an A team and, and we're doing well, so. You are doing well, and I think with that is probably coming more travelling for you, would that be right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely see us on the open race scene now. We've got the dogs, so we'll definitely be travelling. Your mum loved the pups. Is that a love that you inherited, and are you planning to breed? Yes, definitely. Um, I think I've got a couple of brood bushes now, especially um, I'll have another litter out of Chop Chop Hope, so um, yeah, definitely. I think for a while it's probably fair to say that Ernie sort of lost a love of anything whether it was dogs or the area where yeah, he lived but yeah. how is he i know he's made a few changes to his life what's what's he up to he needed time out i think and he had his time out and uh, realized that he really does still love the grounds um so he does a few days for kevin hutton uh, walking the dogs looking after him helping kevin in that hat yeah he's doing really really well love him he's doing really well so good to hear um you're so much like your mum do you know that you do have the <laughs> presence like your mum uh, had here at the kennels as well and and she loved it are you loving it yeah absolutely yeah it um keeps me going and uh some days are tough but you know it's a good it's good it's very good and in it all beautiful animals and they get you through tough times don't they don't know they never moan they're just you know they're lovely they're absolutely lovely um wouldn't be without them